before the revolution. In the lowlands of the back of the beast. In Dinan Sermuse. In the shadow of the great pillar of ruin. In the heart of strife. And of the end of all things past and future. And of the word past as words pass among men of learning who know their histories. Wrought hard with the blood of their fathers, built again and revisited anew by the pain of the fathers. Watching their sons who have too soon forgotten, consigned to further retribution. Generations of wealth passed with the word and without. A revolution is in the making, and Monsieur Adolf Sachs from Bruxelles, whose work we have just examined, strongly contributes to it. A man of lucid mind, far-seeing, delicious, steadfast, and skilled beyond words. He can think and act. He invents and he accomplishes. he was just a little boy, even then he knew, much as we know to this day, that in time young Adolf was destined for greatness. This of course leads to the inevitable questions regarding Sax's desire for, for recognition from those, those closest to him. His family, for obvious reasons, um, tended, tended to conceal their relationship to him. Adolf Sax, inventor of the saxophone, instrument maker to kings and nations, would at least be forgotten. His fame left at, at the doorstep for the duration of this journey. He had just one more meeting. One more chance for Adolf Sax to prove his steel, to prove his love for his king and his nation his own self laying aside for just this moment. This much is clear. I consider the world in terms of what I find it lacking. My impression of dark is that there is no light. My impression of freezing is that I'd rather be warmer, etc. Being only one man, he was at a severe disadvantage in the matter. Having such a complex and, and brilliant mind as he had, he was able to foresee the plan to undermine him and his ideas. And he invented the saxophone as a cover, suspecting that those plotting against him would not deign to obliterate such a, such a seemingly trivial, though in some circles certainly highly consequential, achievement from the public record. He is persecuted in a way that would seem to belong to the Dark Ages. His workmen are enticed away from him. His plans are stolen. He is accused of being insane. A little more, and he would be murdered. It was for this reason that Sax built into the architecture of the saxophone itself all the information needed to rediscover all of his great discoveries about the universe. I need not consider what is plainly so. Therefore, those things I consider must not be the case. 
it's all there in the proportions, the geometries, the materials, and even the sounds themselves. Falling into the night and showing you his love, falling all over himself in shame, in regret, in time and tide. In fact, reading the signs, saying to himself, I, Edo Sax, wish that it be tomorrow, that they choose me, that they say things to me that only I can believe. I, Edo Sax, wish that they choose my life, my subject, my only world. All things are defined in what they are not. It is the only way to avoid circularity. All that is needed is a dedicated code breaker to crunch the numbers. And then he can watch the mysteries of the universe unravel at his fingertips. This has been accomplished to some small degree, but most of what has been discovered to date has primarily to do with the fact that there is much more to be discovered. The technique is one of constant bootstrapping, i.e. each successful decoding reveals another deeper level of information, which must in turn be decoded and understood before moving on to the next. At this point, it is not known how deep this may go, or what, in fact, will be revealed when all is said and done. 